Hi, welcome back to the channel. I'm Michelle and today I want to share with you how I organize my homeschool stuff. If you're new here, I have an eight-year-old, four-year-old, four, almost five-year-old, and a one-and-a-half-year-old. I'm homeschooling my eight-year-old and my almost five-year-old. So we do not have a dedicated homeschooling space. I don't really feel like we need one at this point. Most of the time we do our work either on the couch, the floor, dining room table. We kind of move throughout the house. But I do have specific areas that I keep my supplies. So I'm going to turn you guys around and show you what it is real quick. Number one is the shelf behind me. All right, in my living room, I have a fireplace with the side shelves here, and there's one on each. And this I actually use to keep my craft supplies, sewing machine, that kind of stuff. So that entire section is just for me. Over here, though, I have dedicated this to homeschooling stuff. So let me open it up for you. Do a quick overview, and this isn't clean, this is just how it always is. So, right here I have these IKEA magazine holders. These are the cardboard ones. I just put some paper over it to make it look prettier because I actually got these about eight years ago. So this is how well they've held up, these IKEA ones. Eight years ago, only one of them is taped on the bottom. The rest don't even have tape in the bottom and they're still holding up. So I highly recommend those magazine holders, the cardboard ones you can see here. But this was the original decor of my craft room eight years ago. So that's why it has that pattern. Anyways, this is my kindergartner five-year-old section right here. This is all her work. So when I need to grab her work, I grab this whole thing, take it to wherever we're working, whether that be the dining room table or the floor. So all of her stuff fits here, and again, I will link above here if you want to see what she uses, but all of her stuff fits here, her calendar, her math, her the teach guide for all about reading, writing prompts, different things like that. Right here in this accordion folder is her all about reading lessons, every single one of them, so I just pull those out as needed. In the center here, I have these all are the Black Line Masters from Singapore Dimensions Math that I printed out and I keep those so when my daughter needs them. These are magnet tiles for spelling and for math. And those actually go with those. They were in the dollar spot a couple years back. So that's why they're kept in here. And they're specifically kept in here because I have a one and a half year old that puts everything in his mouth. So little things, especially things with magnets, have to be put away. We have the weights, again, little tiny things, weights in here for our scale, for math. And then this is just, again, these are from Ikea, little extra holders. We have um, glue sticks down here. We have rulers, extra markers, extra dry erase markers. This is just extra supplies and those things. So moving over here, this is my eight-year-old third graders again, you can see she can just pull this entire thing out herself and take what she needs. This is her math. Singapore mentions math. Again, I'll link what she uses above. The new writing she's doing. Her wordly wise. And then her old cursive book in case she wants to go back to it. And then some blank line paper. That's all of her stuff. From here over, this is a blank extra notebook in case I need it or binder. Again, extra folders, extra notebooks if we need it past curriculum I've used, so this is the geography we used this summer, or not geography, um, geology, sorry, geology we used this summer, and this was some story of the world we used, and I keep this as our already used section. Down here is pretty much just craft storage, so on this side again we have the dot markers in here because my one and a half year old would go crazy with them. We have the counting bears here because again my one, year old, one and a half year old would eat them. <laughs> Over here is extra Printouts of things that we've used. So little games like this, little memory games that my five-year-old's outgrown, but I don't want to get rid of them because I know my son will use them one day. We have some pocket charts in here, some little phonics games, and then back here is an actual world map that we pull out and my laminating pouches. On this side, we have the little wooden monastery tiles here. We have a bunch of yarn that my kids use for craft projects. And then this is a bunch of our acrylic paint. It's kept in here for obvious reasons. If the kids ever need it, they just ask and we pull it out. 
glue gun, like same thing. These are things that I don't necessarily want my youngest to get a hold of. So that is one storage area that we use. All right, next is our Ikea bookshelf unit. These are the Billy bookshelves, all of them. Obviously these two right here are the same size and then there's one in the middle. And then Ikea sells a little metal thing to kind of squish them together to make it a corner unit. But I got this this summer because one, we have a lot of books that we need to store, but also the top shelves are all curriculum. So I'm gonna take you through really quick. The bottom shelves are obviously all toys for my kids and everything my one and a half year old can reach. So everything here down, he can play with and destroy. Everything higher than that, he can't. So up here, and my daughter so nicely labeled the bookshelves one day. So up here we have curriculum. These are different torchlight resources. There's no organization to them. I just pull what I need, but again, you can see a quick overview of what I use. I have some Montessori tiles, letter tiles, and different things like that. These are our lightning literature books we'll be using for the year. Up here, all the way on top, and I made sure they do sell an extension unit, so you can make the top, you can make it another shelf if you want, but I liked it open like this so I can stick different size things in it. Up here in that basket is art supplies, oil pastels, different things like that that I want them to ask me for. This is a Melissa and Doug pattern puzzle. These are all our little Justice Leaders boxes. Again, I'll link that for you guys to see. And I'll link these bookshelves too in the description below. This up here is our scale that we use for math. So over here are all the games we use for in our curriculum. So we have a couple different ones. And this is just for making different middle age things like shields and swords and different castles and stuff. These are the games we play though. And then on this section here, we have my eight year old's main curriculum. So we're not currently doing Spanish right now. It's not in rotation, but I keep it here so it doesn't get ruined. This is my daughter's lightning literature, the teacher guide, student book, her writing books, and the book we're currently working on. I keep the Dimensions Math Singapore teacher guide here just because it's huge and <laughs> that's where it fits. And right behind it, I have the next level of Dimensions Math there. I keep Osmo up here. It's really fun, but again, I want the kids to be able to ask me if they want to use that. And then on this side, it's just kind of a random curriculum. So we go through this, which a uh, second grader needs to know. This is all Michael Clay Thompson here. We have some random books that um, people have given us. We have the addition and subtraction facts that stick. Again, my eight-year-old has gone through this already, but I'm keeping it on the shelf for when my next daughter is ready. And then this is just where this big book fit, the escape room, so we keep that there. And again, down here we have first readers for my kindergartner. All the Bob books, these go with her all about reading. More Bob books. This is a collection of rocks. We have more Montessori tiles, letter tiles. We have our counting blocks back there. We have our numbers there. Spanish, my kids love collecting rocks, so we will see them everywhere. And then I have a bunch of little Montessori prints from a box I got years ago, so I always display a couple of those. But that is our main how we sort. This is all poetry right here. Our microscope, again, more rocks you'll see. Tape dispenser, magnifying glass. This is more nature-y poetry stuff that we use. These are my kids' nature journals that we created, that they use when we do our nature curriculum. And then for things like dictionaries and nonfiction, we have most of that right here. And then if it involves stories, it goes on this side. So this is our nonfiction section right here, our reference books. And then the rest is just reading materials. So if you want to see what we have in our children's library, and then the, on the bottom is all picture books. But I find this really works well for us. And of course, in the middle, I have my 
first Usborn readers and my first Usborn library. Really great reading books for beginning readers. But I find this works really well for us. It keeps toy storage, our home library, curriculum, all in one place. So if you have any questions, let me know below. Thanks for watching.